Hey guys, so this is your wake-up call. It's your espresso shot to the supernatural lifestyle. Your everyday is going to change from here on out as you learn how to heal, how to listen to God's voice, how to deal with disappointment and the real things, and also how to hear the stories from other crazy fire-breathing people out there. And take this as your own as you go out and change the world. So take this, run with this, change your world. Hi, I just want to share uh, some helpful tips with you today about how to effectively pray for healing for, for someone that you're ministering to. Um, these are just some things that I've learned along the way, and um, they're just kind of practical things to learn for, to help you get started. So uh, the first thing is just when you're praying for someone, remember to smile. Like bring the joy of God, remember to smile at them and encourage them. A lot of times sick people are discouraged and they need your need joy. So I remember to smile. Another thing is I always keep my eyes open when I pray because I want to see the progress that God is, what God's doing. If there's like a tumor, I want to watch it. I want to see what God's doing. So um, pray with your eyes open, smile. Another thing is just remember the authority that you carry when you're praying. And when I pray, I command things to come into alignment. And I, I declare authority, and I'll say even, I command, if there's like a torn muscle or something, I'll say, I command this muscle to heal. And um, so I just use authority. Another thing is I always remember that uh, God doesn't do things halfway. He does things 100%. So I kind of use like that to explain that to people that I'm praying with. I'll just tell them. So how are you feeling now? Um, are you like 20% better or where are you at? And then I'll also, if they say 20%, I always celebrate even the small things. So I'll celebrate with them, yes, and just thank God with them that there's that small victory. And then I just continue to um, declare 100% over them, 100% healing. Another thing is I always remember and ask myself, how many sick people are in heaven? And there's no sick people in heaven, and I release heaven into that person's body when I'm praying. I just say, heaven come to their body. So those are just some helpful things to get you started, and uh, just I just challenge you to go out and pray for someone today. Hi there, so here's a story of um, when I met this homeless man who actually stumbled into my driveway, and how God's love just really touched him uh, in a powerful way. I walked out of my front door and this man was stumbling into my driveway with a packet of food and someone had obviously bought him some food and his breath smelled like alcohol and I asked him how he was doing. He told me his name and so we started a conversation. We spoke for a long time. He told me how his family had fallen apart and how he'd actually once been walking with God but was no more walking with him because of disappointment and the things that had happened in his life. And He began to tell me about how um, how his liver was was failing due to the um, how he was yeah not doing well and anyways when he stood up I asked him if I could pray for him if there's anything he needed and he said well he had arthritis um, in his in his knees and that his feet were numb because of um, his diabetic condition so he had no sensation in his feet uh, and so I began to oh and he also had I also um, felt God tell me that there was something wrong with his liver and so I asked him about that he told me he had hepatitis. Um, and that also his liver was swollen because of drinking and that sort of thing. So I began to pray for him, uh, for his knees, so that he would have the pain would leave. And I prayed in the name of the son, and I asked him to test it out and find out whether he was still in pain or not. He began to do squats, and instantly he realized that the pain had completely left his knees, and he began jumping up and down. And then I said, well, how are you doing? And he said, well, my knees are okay, but my feet hurt. And I said... Well, you told me a minute ago that your feet were numb from diabetes and you had no sensation, which means God's healing your feet and he's healing your diabetic condition. And his face began to light up. He was, you know, he started to tear up and he was really being touched by the love of God. And I then, I then felt God tell me that his liver was being healed, that the pressure in his abdomen was decreasing. And so I told him that. I said, I feel God's it's healing your liver. And he said, yes, the pressure's gone. That heaviness, that heavy feeling in my gut's disappearing. And... So I just, I, it was a really great opportunity to just love on him and just show that man care and kindness and show him that God still loves him regardless of whether or not he wants to walk with God or not, that God's love is still pursuing him, that God's healing power is still available to him, whether he's, he's doing the right thing or not, whether that God's power is still available. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. 
God does do miracles. He loves to bless people and heal them. And so have a wonderful day. So we have the, this thing called healing rooms and people go there to get healed. Look at it. And uh, I was there and I was praying for someone through Skype and he was in Canada. He had a tumor in his uh, esophagus and he couldn't like swallow anything without having a lot of pain and he was in a lot of pain so did like a quick prayer it was like 10 seconds and I was like okay can you check it out and someone brought him a cup of water because he couldn't swallow without pain so he drank it all and he was shocked he was really shocked he was like I can swallow and it's really smooth I, I couldn't drink that much of water in such a long time and he was healed like he was eating stuff and it was pretty awesome so if you have some pain right now just put your hand on it and I declare you'll be healed now yeah because God is good all the time and he is here for you so yeah get healed Ha, <laughs>